Hello class 10 students, today you are going to study about the, an important topic that is trigonometry. Trigonometry, it is very important subject, important topic, important branch in mathematics. In the secondary level, trigonometry is uh, not very easy, but uh, if you are studying systematically, it is very easy. Trigonometry is uh, earth metrics measurement. Earth measurement, that is the real meaning of this uh, title. Earth measurement. And in this uh, trigonometry, we are talking about angles, right angle triangle, ratio of the sides of the right angle triangle. We will learn about the trigonometric ratios and the trigonometric identities and the trigonometric ratios of specific angles. These are the main topics in this chapter. And uh, if you are learning everything in the uh, Detail it is very important. Suppose here I, here I has a, an end point and an end. If it is rotating in the anti-clockwise direction, anti-clockwise direction, and uh, from its initial position to the terminal position, initial position to the terminal position, we you will get an angle. Okay. Angle is formed by the rotation of a ray about that point from its initial position to the final position. And uh, if you are getting an angle like this, dropping a perpendicular to the initial position, and you will get a, a right angle A, B, C. Right triangle. And the uh, angle is formed at the design plate. Opposite side of opposite side of angle is uh, opposite sides. The side nearer to the angle formed is uh, adjacent side. Adjacent. Adjacent side. The longest side of Side opposite to the 90 degree angle is known as hypotenuse. <coughs> now I will repeat again. An angle is formed by the rotation of a ray. Rotation of a ray. Rotation of a ray from its initial position to the Final position in the anti clockwise direction, not the clockwise direction, anti clockwise direction. And after that, if you are dropping a perpendicular to the initial position, then you will get a, a right hand triangle. In this right hand triangle, one of the angles is 90, but the side is opposite to the angle formed, that is opposite side, which is nearer to the angle that is at the same side. And the lowest side of angle, side opposite to the 90 degree angle is known as hypotenuse. Now we have to speak about right hand triangle ABC. ABC, it is opposite, opposite side. It is adjacent. This is hypotenuse. And uh, this is the angle formed, angle is formed, this is the right angle triangle. In a right angle triangle, in a right angle triangle, always one of the angles is 90, other two angles are acute angles. Angle A is acute, angle C is acute. With respect to, if you are considering the acute angle A, Opposite side of acute angle is opposite side. Adjacent side of angle is adjacent side. Hypotenuse is always longest side of the right angle triangle or angle opposite to the 90 degree. Now we can take ratios, trigonometric ratios. Trigonometric. Ratios. What is the ratios? Ratio is a comparison of two quantities by division. <coughs> Here 
Here, this right angle triangle has three sides AB, BC, and AC. And uh, we can take out the three sides, length of three sides. We can take the ratio of any two sides, any two sides, and divide it. Then you will get the ratio, ratio of any two sides. Suppose opposite sides divided by hypotenuse. You are dividing also the side by hypotenuse of uh, with respect to acute time day. We will call this uh, ratio as psi psi a and uh, we will abbreviate it as uh, psi a. Not the same name, psi a. And uh, if you are taking adjacent by hypotenuse, adjacent there. By hypotenuse, we will call it as cosine k or cos k, abbreviated cosine sine cosine. Opposite by hypotenuse sine, adjacent by hypotenuse cosine. This is very simple, very simple. If you are listening all this, how an angle is formed. And uh, after that, a uh, right angle triangle, the structure of the right angle triangle. Then, what is ratio? Ratio means comparison of two quantities by division in a classroom. If there are 10 boys and 20 girls, 10 boys, 10 boys, 20 girls, ratio is 10 by 20, 1 by 2. Okay, this is the ratio. Dividing two quantities, then you will get the ratio. Ratio of any two sides. In this manner, you can take how many ratios? By some of six ratios. That is a 10 ratios, nothing else. Very simple. Okay? Thank you.